I'm Professor Andrea Glover and welcome to our virtual open house for graphic design. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about our growing program at CSU. So you might be wondering what classes will you take if you come to CSU and you want to be a graphic design student? Well, you'll be taking a drawing one class and that's where you just master basic drawing skills. Uh, we do a still life in there, several still life drawings. We also uh, do landscape drawings. You also be taking a, a beginning design course, which is one of my favorite classes. So when you take the beginning design, you're basically learning about color theory. You're learning about um, how to cut things properly with an X-Acto knife. Um, we're learning about space and balance and how to use uh, design elements properly. So that class is not in the lab. That class you'll be um, just working in a classroom and you'll be using your hands to uh, create things and coming up with ideas. We're big on sketching. You know, everything starts with a sketch. So you'll be doing a lot of sketching and creating projects uh, by hand. So as you move through the program, you will be able to get into our Mac Labs. So in our Mac Labs, that's where we teach all the Adobe programs. We also have a, an amazing class that I love, and that's typography. So that's just studying uh, typefaces, which is commonly known as fonts. Uh, we have a great photography class. Uh, we also offer photography too. We do a business of design course, and you also learn how to uh, design websites. So. It's a wonderful program. Our students learn so much and uh, we have been around for about 12 years. So at the end of your time at Charleston Southern University, before you graduate, you will have a portfolio. So a portfolio is basically a culmination of all the work that you've done throughout four years. So that is like your ticket to getting a job. You'll have your resume, you'll have your portfolio, and then you'll go out there and go on interviews and try to get your dream job. We usually do a portfolio show. If we can't do it on ground, we uh, have an online portfolio show. So that usually goes very well, where prospective employers can look at the student's work and see if they want to hire them for a position. What about Internships. All right, so we always encourage students to do a lot of internships. Um, you know, the more internships you do, the better. We've had students intern at the VA, King and Columbus, MUSC, Trident United Way. Our students always do a great job at their internships, and like I said, the more internships you can do, the better. So you might be wondering, okay, where do your students work? Where do your graduates get jobs? Well, we have some graduates that are doing fantastic. We recently had a graduate just do work for ABC. We've had a graduate do uh, work for the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, they get employed by Benefit Focus, MUSC, um, We've had a student do uh, work for the NHL. She did an, an internship and worked for them for a little bit. We also have had a student do work for Spotify. So we have one that was a graphic design minor that's now uh, working at Faith Church. So we have a lot of students that are working all over. They're putting their best foot forward and uh, they're utilizing their degree from Charleston Southern University. We also have a student working for Jeff Cook Real Estate. And we have two students that run a brick and mortar graphic design firm in downtown Somerville called Creative Consulting. So there's lots of opportunities and I'm proud to say that students hold on to jobs for years. We've had students graduate in 2015, 2016 and they're still holding down a job and we're very proud of that. Do students go to grad school? Yes. We just had one alum get her master's in graphic communications from Clemson University. So she just graduated uh, recently and we're very proud of her. We also have three other students 
at the Maryland Institute College of Art. Two of those students are studying UX UI design and should graduate soon. And another student is getting his degree in painting. All right, as far as preparing for the program, well, things that you can do now, you can always start drawing, you know, keep up your drawing skills, getting those basic skills down. Um, I always like to uh, practice and use the uh, program Procreate and for the iPad Pro. So if you have a tablet, you can start drawing there. I would also start looking at different artists and illustrators on social media. There's just an abundance of artists and talented people that you can follow on social media, follow them, look at their style, and just see how they're going through the process with their work. And you can even converse with some of the, the artists and say, hey, I'm, I'm thinking about getting a degree in graphic design, what are your thoughts? So I would look online and just start to, you know, look at what graphic design is all about. suggestions, last minute suggestions about uh, coming to college, I always say, do what you love. If you love graphic design and you love art and you love creating things, I think that, and visual communication, basically, if you love those things, I think that graphic design would be a good fit for you. Um, always just make sure that whatever you major in, that you would enjoy doing it if, um, I always say, if you weren't getting paid, would you still enjoy your job? We want to be able to come to college and enjoy what we're doing so that we, we can make a great life uh, for ourselves. And one key component that I think is so great, specifically at CSU, is just being in the Christian environment. One last thing, for our department, we put together a graphic design newsletter. In that newsletter, we focus on students, in the projects that they're doing on campus or things that they might have done over the summer. And we also focus on some graduates. So you can go and read our newsletter uh, and find out about all of the wonderful things that they've done more in depth. Be sure to check out our newsletter at csuniv.edu forward slash graphic. Please feel free to share it with all your friends and family. And there's great stories about what our students are doing, what our grads are doing, and um, you know, you'll be able to see all of their work as well. All right, well, I hope to see you at CSU. Bye.